Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. We'll try to understand who a quantity surveyor is. So in this PPT, I'll try to make you understand the responsibilities of a quantity surveyor. Who can get into this profession? What are the basic knowledge or what are the basic educational qualifications required to start your quantity surveying career? So to understand what a quantity surveyor's responsibility is, we need to understand the two different stages of a construction project, which is called the pre-contract stage and the post-contract stage. Now to understand the pre-contract stage, let's let's us imagine that you are going to build a building. You are the client, you are the owner, you need to build a four-story building. So you will approach a few contractors and you will provide them with your requirements. So in, in a layman's term, the requirements will be how many rooms is required, what how many floors is there, or what to, what should be the color of your wall, or how long the building should be, how long each room should be. So all these are the requirements in a layman's term. And in a professional way, it can be your drawings, the specifications, the make of all your materials to be used in your building, all the design conditions. So all these are the basic documents that are needed to start your project, which is called the tender documents. So there are experts who prepare these documents, there are consultants who prepare these documents, there, there are design consultants who carry out these uh, requirements. So once these documents are prepared, it is given to all the contractors who are going to compete to build this project. So then starts your pre-contract stage. So once the pre-contract stage you get, if you're a contractor and you get all these tender documents, all the specifications, all the drawings and all the design conditions. So here the responsibility of a quantity surveyor in the pre-contract stage starts. So basically the responsibility includes the evaluation of your tender documents the and raising queries if you have any questions regarding any missing documents or any error in the documents all those queries can be raised by the quantity surveyor then you start your material quantity takeoffs from the drawings you will take off the total materials required for each aspects like how many doors are required or how many ACs are required, how many light points are required, what is the quantity of steel required, what is the quantity of the concrete, sand, cement, paint, the flooring quantity. All these requirements are taken off from your drawings. And after that, you do your rate analysis, you apply your rates for carrying out each work and you do a cost estimate for the complete building. So finally, you will prepare all these documents as per the tender. In your tender, it will be specified what all are the required documents needed to submit uh, to the, the owner so that they can evaluate your offer accordingly. And then you will be submitting it according to the requirement and that with your final quote. Now in the post-contract stage is once you are awarded the project. So among all the contractors, your contractor, I mean, you get selected as the contractor to carry out the work and you sign all the contract documents. So once the contract documents are signed, here the contract post-contract stage begins and the quantities are aware who is in the post-contractor stage will start his duties, which will be measuring the works done at site on monthly basis, preparing the monthly invoices based on the work completion, then identifying the out of scope works and pricing for the same. Now, no project will work out in the same way as the initial design. Once the project starts, commences, there will be a bit of changes here and there. There will be modifications. So according to that, a quantity surveyor needs to identify if that modification will be a cost effective one or if they need to carry out it, if they need to understand if that is under their scope and they need to price that additional works accordingly, then they need to carry out the contract administration works, the cost control and monitoring of the project needs to be done by the quantity surveyor. There, the contractor might give some work to subcontractors so 
the quantity surveyor should be responsible for the subcontractor management then finally once the project is completed he should prepare the final account of the project and submit it to completely close out the project now the education and skills required to become a quantity surveyor is given here in this slide basically you need to have a graduate degree or diploma in engineering or construction management the engineering degrees preferred are usually civil electrical mechanical and electronics civil quantity surveyors take care of all the civil activities whereas the electrical mechanical and the electronics engineers they take care of all the mep activities that is the non civil activities mep is mechanical electrical and plumbing in a construction project and the quantity surveyor they that professional needs to be good with numbers they need to have a basic knowledge of ms office and autocad also if they have additional knowledge in different construction quantity take off softwares like blue beam plan swift candy that is also advantages they need to be a team player have negotiation skills and they need to be organized and detail oriented now the, these last three points are mostly important for any any profession now the current scope of a quantity surveyor is very good a lot of projects are being announced especially infrastructure sector in india and due to the limited number of qualified and experienced quantity surveyors the demand for them is really really high in the coming years and even the foreign countries if you if you look in australia new zealand uk and ireland they have shortage of quantity surveyors and this profession quantity survey profession is included in their skill shortage list you can check it their immigration sites you can find uh, this skill shortage list from there and you can find quantity surveyor in those list in the middle east obviously the boom is high quantity surveyors are already in demand and also in other developing countries too they also will need the services of a quantity surveyors because most most upcoming construction projects are going to be in developing countries and also in the underdeveloped countries like the africa countries many projects are getting announced and so lot of quantity surveys will be required in these countries too